We Baptists might not agree on much, but it is hard to ignore the pressing message of our faith that we are to be a people who stand on the side of those who society considers the least of these. We have a parable in my religious tradition that is best known as the story of the Good Samaritan. And if you aren't familiar with it, it goes a little something like this. A man came to Jesus and asked, what must I do to have eternal life? Jesus asked him, what does your religious law say? And the man answered, Love your God with your mind, your heart, your soul, and your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, yes, you're right. Go and do that. But the man wanted to know exactly what Jesus meant. And so he asked him, who was my neighbor? So Jesus answered with this story. A man was going down the road from Jerusalem when he was attacked by robbers, stripped of his clothes, beaten, and left half dead on the street. There was a priest who happened down that road, and when he saw the man, he passed him by on the other side. Then another man traveling down that same road saw him and passed by on the other side. But then there was a third man, a Samaritan, who saw the man and came to him and took pity on him. He bandaged his wounds, he took him to a safe place and he cared for him. After finishing the story, Jesus turned to the man and said, now you tell me, which one of these men became a neighbor? There are many great things we could talk about from this story, but the part of the story that strikes me most is not that the first two men simply passed by, but the detail that they were on the other side that they kept enough distance between them and the beaten man so that they are not confronted with the humanity of a half-dead person lying on the street before them. How deeply this speaks to us today. How easy it is to leave suffering in the road those whom we only know as the objects of our discrimination. How long will we do this to each other? Keep at a distance those we are afraid of or those we might not understand create divisions among us with our language or our boundaries or our laws, discriminate against one another in the name of religion or public policy. We cannot allow fear to amend our constitution. We cannot ignore the humanity of the people in this state, and we cannot be silent. Now is our time to get out and vote. Now is the time to make our stand. Now is the time to make our voices heard. As neighbors to all of our fellow North Carolinians, we must choose neighborliness over discrimination. We must choose compassion over indifference. We must choose community over division. Casting our voices into history with all those who have come before us and who in times like this chose to become a neighbor in a deep time of need, who chose to stand against discrimination no matter what the cost.